because if you went back with more items, Totemor, he would not have it. Hi there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I missed from New Leaf that isn't in New Horizons for Animal Crossing. If you're new to my channel and you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? So for this video, I am wearing my most Animal Crossing outfit, which is this shirt, and I think I wore it like two videos ago, but I don't care. This is the Animal Crossing video, and this is my Animal Crossing shirt, so I'm going to wear it. As I am putting this video out, it is now March the 20th, and a year ago today, Nintendo released Animal Crossing New Horizon and my life was forever changed and I have uh, not stopped playing it. Now I am a big fan of Animal Crossing. I have been playing it since it came out for the GameCube back in like 2003, 2004. I can't remember the exact date it came out, but that's when I roughly got it. I loved playing it. It was just so interesting that you could like make your own little houses. And I mean, at the time I was like, I think 13, 14. At that age, you really don't have any like decor choices. So having this game where you could like, make your own little house and do what you wanted and dress how you wanted, it was like such a fun game. So after that, a few versions did come out. Fast forward to like 2016, 2017 when the Switch had like just come out. Around that time while well, they were kind of saying, hey, there's might be a new game. I was like, oh my goodness, I need this game. But of course, still years away from being released. So I ended up buying myself, I think it was a 2DS. I bought that so I could buy Animal Crossing's New Leaf. And let me tell you, that game was amazing compared to the GameCube version. Like it was it was so fun and I played it for so long. It, it still is one of my favorite games. I will still go and play it because there are certain features from that game that just aren't in New Horizon and that's what this video is about. It's just everything that I miss. For those who didn't play New Leaf, you're missing a lot of things. So in preparation for this video, I took a lot of notes. There, there's a lot of notes. Gunner, you can't sit in the window. It's too, you're gonna make it dark. She's trying to sit in the window. Yeah, right, pretty baby. So I took a lot of notes because I know myself that I'm going to probably forget things. And in this video, there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna cover just because one, didn't think it needed to be relevant or two, I just forgot. I'm just kind of going over what I miss the most. If this was uh, me talking about every single thing that I missed from that, this is gonna be like a two hour rant. Try to condense it, try. So I have a bunch of different categories for this video and I'm just gonna kind of go by section by section. The first characters that I'm going to discuss is Reese and Cyrus, the alpacas. I know that they are in New Horizon, but they only kind of had like a little, like a little spot in the game where it was like their wedding and you had to like decorate, although I love that part. I miss them. I miss going into their shop and seeing what's for sale and them doing my DIYs. I thought that was like kind of cool. Now that I can do my own DIYs on my island is also like, it's fantastic. It is a game changer. I do miss them. They were so cute. They were just this pink and blue alpaca and it was just adorable and what was really cool in that game is that you could bring your stuff into their shop and sell it so either villagers could go buy it or people who visited your island could go and buy that stuff and how I kind of think that they could be brought back into this game besides the whole wedding maybe they could have like a little tiny shop maybe the nook shop could expand and they could go in there I'm gonna touch on that when I get to the building parts but I have a lot to discuss with the nook shop anywho I think it'd be really cool to like bring some stuff in and be like hey I keep finding these DIYs maybe I'll sell them here. You just sell your stuff and people who visit your island could go buy it from you. I think that could totally work and I kind of hope that they bring them back into the game like that. And I know now you can leave things out and people can just pick them up, but I I just miss their little shop. Next is Mayor Totemore. Totemore? Totemore. Totemore. He was this crusty old turtle who was the mayor. I think in City Folk, I didn't play that one. And then in New Leaf, he wanted to retire and you took over the island. I do kind of miss that character because this will lead into another thing I'm gonna talk about and that's island tours and he was kind of on that. The next one, the male pelicans. Oh, I miss them so much. It was Phyllis, Helly, and Pete. And I know we have the dodo birds now. I don't know, I do miss them. I don't think they really need to be in the new game. It would be kind of cute if they made an appearance. Two characters that I don't really miss is Gracie and Brewster. And I know people have a dying love for Brewster, but I didn't really understand the point of his uh, presence in the game. You got to make coffee for people, that was it. 
I don't know, I just didn't understand that part. Maybe you guys would be like, no, Brewster's the best, but I don't really understood his purpose other than making people coffees. And then the other one is Gracie, and I did not like her tone. I did not like the tone that she was giving me, so that's why I don't really care for her, and I don't really care if she comes back because one of the Abel sisters, what's her name, LaBelle, I think, Label? LaBelle, I can't pronounce things. She kind of took over Gracie's spot and she's so much nicer when she tells you to do little clothing challenges. So I'd much rather have her, although I do miss Gracie's shop in the Nook Shop so now I'm going to go on to the shopping district that we had in New Leaf and we don't really have in New Horizons. Although it is great that I can move around the shops, I do miss that separate spot where you could do all your shopping and it does not affect your island whatsoever because honestly sometimes like I'm rearranging my island I'm like I have no place for these shops. I don't know where I want to put them so it would be nice if like everything just had its own center that I didn't really have to like deal with and it was just there. The few shops that they don't have anymore is the shoe shop and LaBelle or label again mm -hmm. their shops are gone you don't really need them in this one I guess because in the Able Sisters you can just go into the changing room and you have all your options there so they do sell like you know the hats the sunglasses the shoes all there but I do miss the little skunk selling his shoes I really wish that he had his own little shoe shop I think that'd be really cute I also think that they need to expand the Nook shopping center so maybe they can include his shop in their permanent all right, so let's talk about the Nook Shop. I am very disappointed that it just kind of stopped where it is, and who knows? Maybe, you know, as time goes on, they'll start adding all these features instead of giving us all this stuff at once. We'll get excited. People will want to start playing the game again. But what was really cool about the shop is that at the main, like the main floor was where you could buy like all your tools and supplies and stuff like that, and that's where Tom Nook worked. And then you go to level two, and that's where like Timmy and Tommy were, and you would just get all your furniture and stuff stuff like that and then you go to the third level and that's where Gracie had all her like really expensive furniture and we don't even have that furniture yet which I mean again I will be touching on the furniture because that's what uh, really grinds my gears is the furniture that we are missing in this game the shop was like amazing and every time like you got to a certain point in the game like I think you had to spend so much money to get like the next level I love that like I wish we could have more stuff and I understand that crafting like all the crafting stuff is all brand new items but it just really want the old items back. So another place that is missing is the hair salon. Again, don't really need it in this, but I loved it. You had that pink poodle who did your hair and you had to like go online and find the cheat codes in order to get the correct hair color and the correct hairstyle. They like gave me a bunch of questions like, how do you feel today? Good? Great? And you had to pick one of those and like that would branch off into all these different subcategories and then eventually you would guess your hair color and your hair cut. And although it's not needed, I do miss it. I wish maybe they would bring it back. Like maybe she was like an island visitor and you could get like maybe funky hair colors like rainbow hair colors or different hairstyles that you could only get from her. That would be kind of cool. And the next shop that I didn't care for but was the comedy club and that's where you got all of your reactions from. So instead of someone coming up to you and being like, oh, you can sit down now, or you can have a sad face, you had to go to the comedy club and sit through his bad comedy in order to get a reaction. Didn't didn't really care for him, so I'm glad he's gone, but also that same place is where K.K. Slider also did his shows. So now that he does it in the square, I guess we don't need that comedy club, and I'm grateful that we don't need to have that comedy club anymore. Remember when I said that I was gonna forget something? I forgot the museum. But what I really miss is that you could actually curate your very own exhibit. I don't know, I thought this was really, really cool and I wish this was a feature in the new one. I really miss it. Let's keep moving on and I am going to be talking about Island Tours. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Island Tours was where you could go onto a little boat with this little frog man and you pay him a thousand dollars and he takes you to this little tiny island which is kind of cool because I guess that's what New Horizons is all about. You live on the little tiny island now but it's, it's a much bigger island but still you live on the island. So on the island there was a bunch of little things you can do. You could go and buy the furniture and I believe that's where like the Rattatan furniture was or the Mermaid collection 
collection, which I miss the mermaid collection. Then also you go outside and it was the island. And before there was tarantula hunting, I don't know if you guys did that, but I definitely did that to like pay off my house at the beginning of New Horizon. There was shark catching. I would spend a good chunk of time on this island circling it, catching anything that had a fin or catching all the really expensive bugs. And if it wasn't an expensive bug, I would like, you know, run up to it so it would fly away. And that's how I paid for my house was going around and catching sharks and bugs. And then what you're supposed to do is you put them in like a little basket and it gets shipped back to your island. So you could only do so many at once. So with the island tours, you could do a bunch of different mini games. And I think the mini games is the one thing that like, I really, really miss out of everything else that I'm talking about. It's the mini games that I really want them to bring back into New Horizon. So on the island for the tours, it was actually Tortamor with a little gyroid, which I would always call groids. They were kind of creepy, but also kind of cute. He would give you your assignment and tell you to go and then give you your reward if you beat the level at the end. So on the tours, there was a bunch of different levels. So you could have easy, medium, hard. There was like bug catching, scuba diving, catching fish. There's a bunch of them. So I'm just going to kind of go over the ones that are my favorite that I will actually take out my DS to this day just to go on the island tours because I love them so much. The first one I'm going to talk about is Fossil Hunter. And for this one would just be a bunch of like, you know, the little stars where you dig up and you get a fossil. And there would be one house on the island that you had to go in and look at what the fossil looked like and then you have to go and dig up fossils, bring it back and try to assemble it. Now they didn't tell you what the skeleton was. So you had to use your vast knowledge of fossil finding to figure out what it was and to dig up the correct fossils. And you also had a time limit. So you had to bring the fossils back, assemble them. And then once you won, you got points so that you could go and spend in the little souvenir shop that was on the island. Another one was item matching. Again, very simple kindergarten games, but I, I love them. It would be like, you know, little star shapes that you would have for the fossils and you had to dig them up and find the matching ones and put them together in a certain amount of time. The next mini game that I really liked is hide and seek. Basically you having to find five random villagers on this island who would be hiding behind houses and random building structures, trees, and you only had like five minutes to do it. And I've lost so many times. It was fun. I really like that one. And the last one, which is my favorite one is the scavenger hunt. So he would give you a list of things and then you would have to go and find them. There would be five houses and what you do is you go into the house and say it was you have to find a small cactus. You would go find the cactus and put it in your pocket and you had to have the right ones on the list because if you went back with more items, Totemore, he would not have it. So you just had to go around to all these different houses and just find the correct things and I just really really miss these mini games. What I think would be really cool for mini games is you're on your island from your island you go on to the mainland instead of in New Leaf where you went from the mainland onto an island and once you're on the mainland maybe Gracie is the one that makes you do the mini games and with the points that she gives you for the mini games you can buy all that fancy furniture so you could buy the sweet furniture you could buy the princess furniture you can buy the Rococo furniture which we are still missing and I really want back like all those furniture sets that we don't have I'm just spitballing here but I think that would make a really great addition Next up is the long anticipated furniture items. And the problem with the missing furniture is that they didn't even come up with another furniture set that kind of resembles it. There's a long list of furniture sets that are missing, but I'm just going over the ones that I really miss. At number one, Astro. The Astro furniture was like straight from like, you know, the 60s mod space kind of themed. I miss it. It was this like cute, like orange set and they don't have it. I miss that one. That was like my favorite one. The next one, which I think everyone misses is the Rococo style furniture. That looks very Bridgerton, very fancy and elegant. They don't have anything even like that in the new game, which like disappoints me. The next one is the mermaid furniture set, which you had to buy on the island. And and I guess we kind of get that one with the shell, but it's not the same. It's just not the same. I want the mermaid collection because you would get like the mermaid bed, the chair, the vanity, the rug, the wallpaper, everything. The next three are the ones that you could only buy from Gracie, the ones that cost like a million dollars, like a lot of money to buy this furniture set. So the first is the sweets collection, which was like 
The bed was a cake. The dresser was a chocolate bar. You had cookies as tables. It was so stinking adorable. We do have that in Pocket Camp. It just never made it to New Horizon and I really hope they bring that one back as well as the princess set. I, uh, I really... I really like the princess set. It was very similar to the Regal set and I really do miss the Regal set too. It was also kind of like the Rococo, but the Regal set was like very white and gold and beautiful. The princess set was more like blue, so I think kind of like Cinderella. I think that's what they kind of base it off of. And that set was just so beautiful that I think that it was so expensive in the game that I still hadn't bought. Like to this day, I didn't buy all the items because I couldn't afford it. And I really want them to bring it back. And I understand that New Horizon is supposed to be like more of a DIY why like you're living on the island you gotta make things you can't make something fancy well what if i want to make something fancy bring back the fancy furniture the last little bit is kind of like some of the things that I don't need to go into too much detail about, but I just miss like these simple little like island features that they don't have anymore. The large cliffs of the beach. I really do miss running down the hill to get to the beaches. And I know I could, in fact, make that again. It's just, it's not the same. You had like these high cliffs and you had banana trees and it was just so separate from the rest of the island. I don't know, I liked it. I do miss bigger rooms in the house. The rooms are not as big. Like the main room is the same size. In the new leaf, all the rooms were actually the same. Like they all could get just as big as the main room and I, and I miss it. And I know, again, you can put furniture outside. Why do you need to put more furniture inside? Because I want to. I want to have a nicer house with more things in it. So I hope that they make that an option eventually that you can expand your rooms bigger. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the gyroids. I think that's what they're called. I used to call them groids. I don't know, but when I was doing my research, apparently it's called gyroid. And it makes sense because they move around and they dance. These were, again, kind of creepy. Like if you got the ones that had like the real deep voice and was like creepy, those were weird. But then you'd get the cute little ones and they kind of like made like little dances and little songs and stuff like that. And I get why we don't need them, but I think they'd be really cute around the island, especially if you have like a fairy cottage core kind of thing. They could kind of act like little garden statues and they could move and stuff like that. I think they'd be really cute. I think that's it. The only other thing I could cover is the fruit. We are missing some fruit. I think mangoes, bananas, uh, there's like two other ones. Don't really need to get into those. So here's the thing. I know Animal Crossing New Horizon blows all of them out of the water, like no competition. The things you can do on the island is amazing. I just wanna play mini games. Thank you if you stuck around for the whole entire time. I know this is not my typical video. I didn't show you how to sew something or something that I thrifted, but can you blame me? The last sewing project nearly destroyed me. People in my real life don't really play the game, so I needed to like talk about it to someone. And if you found the video interesting, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party. Sorry if I left anything else out. There was a lot to talk about, and I know I talked a lot, but I think that's it. So y'all have a good one. Bye.